guys, welcome back to Geisa Gaming! So, this is another legendary rank match. I play again as the little girl with my duo here, Blubber as Gravekeeper. So, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Mercenary and Seer are being banned on this match. So, we are facing Wu Chang here. So, Wu Chang try to find someone else and not gonna take the Gravekeeper on the early match. And remember guys, White Puchang has the longest hitbox, so as little girl, be careful and when you are going to use the fragments, either you nail it or fail it. So I prefer keeping distance with him with fragment. I mean, not waiting until he gonna hit me for sure, because the hitbox of White Puchang is so long. Okay, so Hunter deploy a peeper, it's better for you to click that auto notice chat so everyone can know what is the trait of the Hunter. Oh no, that's close! Yep, I'm gonna take a hit here. It's okay. I'm gonna drop the pallet, try to kite over there in the corner. So I'm not gonna disturb anyone to decode. So I mentioned on my previous video the differences between white Wuchang and black Wuchang. White has longer hitbox but slower animation. Just like that, I can avoid that terror shock. But black Wuchang has a faster hitbox but shorter one. So as you can see here, yep. And it is not a good thing. I'm not gonna lie here. I don't I don't I don't like to give Wuchang more presence by getting a terror shock, but there is no other choice. He changed to black Wuchang and there is already peeper, so I'm gonna be a bit slower because you know there is a peeper there. So important tips paying attention on minimap when someone tells you the location of the basement. So you know after the rescue you shouldn't go to that location. And also paying attention on which cypher machine are being working on so don't go over there too because if you don't over there it will be easier for the hunter to camp the chair while camping the cypher machine okay so wuchang is putting a paper over there just to slow down a bit of the cypher rust then going back to my chair to camp so i'm gonna keeping distance again with white wuchang remember the fragment's timing cannot be late I guess the hunter wanna get a double down so he'll try to get Gravekeeper before taking me down. Okay, nice shuffle save Gravekeeper. And also, I think the reason why the hunter is also very confident to leave me because this is Wu Chang. Remember, if I decided to teleport to someone else with my skill to get a heal, he will know because there will be a red alert color like highlighted red color of our location. So be careful, as little girl, when we are going to teleport when facing hunter that have a very good map pressure like Wu Chang or Orpheus Nightmare, you need to be really careful before we are going to teleport. If not, then the hunter will gonna know and going to your location right away with their skill. Okay, so now hunter changing target to whoever is the closest while chasing the cypher machine because we know the cypher lab is only two. Okay, so on this situation, the hunter still putting people why? Because it will be easier for Wu Chang to know when someone wants to continue that cypher machine in the middle. So me and Blubber already heal each other and now we are on full head condition. We know that Barmaid is gonna sit. I think Prisoner is trying to use the stun to help Barmaid but unfortunately the timing is really tight. And if that happens, you need to leave the chair first. I mean like just go and buy time before the chair is gonna get to be for half. I mean if you are very close with the chair, you just need to wait for a bit so don't rush the rescue process. It will give us more time to decode and finish the cypher machine. Okay, so remember there is no more titaner because Gravekeeper only used titaner to rescue me. And now still keep chasing Barmet no matter what. The hunter needs to take him down at least one of us first. You know to eliminate one of us so taking down Barmet. So as you can see here, one cypher left but two survivors are down on this situation. The hunter is Wu Chang, which is well, logically, he will chase the cypher machine with the umbrella or coming down to the closest cypher machine that white links so hard. Yep, gonna go to that cypher machine. So I'm gonna go for the rescue here, rescuing Barmaid first because Barmaid already sit for two times. So Barmaid is our priority now and let Barmaid go and Hunter gonna go back. Why? Because there's a peeper over here for sure and obviously he gonna camp back again after Noticing that there is someone already rescued Barmet, gonna share Gravekeeper. I'm gonna be very patient to wait, to wait the situation, and then going to save Gravekeeper. 
remember guys paying attention to the notification chat is also very important so barmaid already healed herself with the dolphin which is good so now barmaid is on full health condition we are kind of doing like three different cypher machine you know like even though the cypher life is only one and one of the biggest reason is because when you're facing a hunter with a very good mobility like Wu Chang, which he can teleport you know like going back and forth to any location it's okay to decode different cypher machine you know so do not force into decoding only one cypher machine and you know like getting injured everyone around it's a bad situation so it's really best to be safe and you know like the hunter is putting people everywhere you know but this is really a good distraction for the hunter why because we are doing different cypher machine and there are still four survivors left which is it's it's really 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 not a good situation for the hunter side i'm not gonna lie here but wait a minute because there will be something really interesting on the late game let me show you so i was trying to help over here but turned out that the hunter obviously knew my location and going to this cypher machine too i'm trying to help everyone to finish that cypher machine in the middle there is a peeper over here so the cypher will gonna a bit slower but now finally it's prime i'm gonna wait over here making sure if the hunter hit me i will pop it right away but if he changed the skill to abnormal i'm gonna need to finish it right away or or just like my previous video where the hunter is pretending to do emote after changing skill you know like doing the fake abnormal animation but which i only have emote to the fake hit so i know that he cannot do that trick like the dream witch do Wuchang is pretending to hit me and when he's gonna throw the umbrella to change to white on full presence I could get siphon so be careful with that using the fragment to cancel the siphon on the right timing is also important okay so I didn't know what happened here but Wuchang keep hitting me oh my god <laughs> Prisona tried to make him stuck I guess <laughs> on the inside on the corner I mean so as long as a survivor you don't you don't don't wait on that corner yeah guys i mean that's really really dangerous if you're waiting inside the corner the hunter could make you stop and hit you until you die okay so finally he hit me and i'm finishing the cypher right away let's go guys okay going to the different direction so Wu Chang is throwing the umbrella to that gate but coming over to this gate okay so like you know like checking around both of the gate together at the same time and gravekeeper already put many palette over here so he gonna be really safe with the shuffle skill nothing there is nothing he can do unless Wu Chang hit the gravekeeper and he gonna get back to that exit gate because you know he gonna waste more time with gravekeeper and i'm here again back with Wu Chang with the siphon i'm gonna cancel it with my fragments and going back to my very first kiting location putting another peeper again yep not from card skill so it is time for me to teleport to that exit gate yep we got four escape here on this match pretty intense and such a long match right okay so that's the video i hope you get some insight remember be careful if you want to teleport if you're facing hunter that also can teleport back and forward like wu chang and nightmare thanks for watching bye bye